The wood boiler has been working out awesome, but there is one problem I still need to solve. Here's the wood boiler. The door's on the opposite side there. I've got the pad in front of it. Everything's looking good, working good, but you'll notice there's no wood. <laughs> so all my wood is over there, stacked. I just want to keep it away from the front of the house. So this is our driveway coming up. This is the first thing everybody sees when they pull up the driveway. So I don't want a big pile of mass of wood all over here. So I've got all my wood stacked over there and I'm splitting and stacking stuff back in that area. And then I've got some right here, which I'll keep split and stacked right here. I'll probably always have some wood stacked here. And then most of the wood is all down the hill. That's where I've been dumping for years. What I need to, to make is a system of getting the wood from down there or from over there to here. And I have a plan to build a kind of deck right here. So I'm gonna start with a small one. It's gonna be about four foot by four foot. So let's start by working on the pad. We're gonna, we're gonna build a little pad here. I've got a bunch of scrap wood that was off cuts from the new stage we built at the church. It's a bunch of little scrap ends and pieces that uh, I took home. We were gonna burn them. So yeah, rather than burning them, I'll, I'll put them to use here. So we're gonna build it in a way that will utilize all those scraps. So every bit of wood will get used. We mostly built out of two by sixes and a couple four by fours. Let's start digging some holes and uh, get this thing put together.
Well, I think that's gonna work. Let's go check out uh, the finished product here and uh, these new pallet forks that we got for the tractor. So this was all centered around the idea of using the tractor and these pallet forks. So these are a new addition. I've had some old ones uh, in the past on the old Ford 4000. These are new. They are from a website called vivor.com. So these are 4,000 pound forks. They're, they're able to hold 4,000 pounds now. I don't know, you know, if you, if you lifted 4,000 pounds, I'm assuming right at the tip, you'd probably bend them, but, but they're, they're pretty beefy. So they actually, the, they're not um, C-channel like I had, or, or C-steel, whatever it's called, uh, like I had on the old ones where it was open on the bottom. These have, it's solid all the way around. So it's got a flat bottom on it. And so these are uh, more like a tube steel. It's, it's a lot stronger. And they clamp right to the, uh, to the bucket. Now, my bucket doesn't have a cutting edge on it. It actually came without one. And the dealer told me I had to buy it. So I never bought one. <laughs> I probably should. But if you have a cutting edge on here, this would actually clamp uh, right to the, the cutting edge, but uh, and it would keep these things a little more stable. Right now they, they, they move a little bit. And it does come with uh, a pair of uh, spreaders that slide right down the forks and they'll keep them at exactly the right, they'll keep them straight basically. And you can clamp that on, you know, right at the back of them to, to keep them from, from going this way. However, the pallet that I'm using is more, is too narrow and uh, the spreaders uh, spreads it out. The, the minimum distance is too wide for that pallet. So I didn't use it this time, but I will adjust that. I'll cut it down and make it a little bit shorter. What a handy tool. These can be attached to any tractor. Uh, so it'll attach right to the bucket. They just screw it on, screw it off. They're super easy to, to take on and off. So you can store them in the garage or the barn and then just throw them on when I need them. And can you imagine all the things that you could move around uh, with, with these things? So think of all the logs I could put on here. I could uh, take bigger pieces of wood, more wood around. I could put a pallet on here and stack things. I could stack up, you know, uh, all kinds of rounds and move that around the homestead. And for me, getting all the wood that I have down there, I'll just get another one of these IBC tote cages and I'll set it down there or I'll make some more cages out of pallets and some sides, some scrap wood or something, and I'll just split right into those bins down at the bottom of the hill where I do all my wood processing. And then I'll just rotate the bins up. So uh, I would assume this will probably last me um, a few days in this wood boiler. In the dead of winter, it's probably gonna uh, about three days worth right there. So I'll have to get the tractor out. Uh, twice a week and go down and fill up or go switch out another bin and bring it up to this this spot now in the winter time this might get a little slippery so what i may do is is kind of grade this out a little bit and dig it down just a little bit more to kind of flatten it as much as i can and put a little bit of gravel in there so future future project uh, i could also extend the deck over and then have two bins where i could just slide one over and take the empty one off uh, and so i wouldn't have to to do it quite as often Well, still a little bit of work to do in another video. I need to make a door on this so that uh, this can be removed, this, this side of it. So we'll have to do a little metal work. I've got some new stuff to show you for that as well. So later video, we'll do a, a little door, some kind of a removable piece here that can go on the, the front side of this so I can open it up and I can easily get in there right now. It's, it's kind of a reach to get to the, uh, the bottom of the, the bin here. I'll have to climb in there. Well, we got a lot accomplished today and we are a few steps closer to having a good working system to feed this beast. Uh, I know this thing's gonna take a lot of wood this winter and uh, I'm trying to be prepared for that as much as possible, more than I ever have been before. So I'm making progress out here. The new pallet forks are gonna be a game changer around the homestead. Uh, they are one of the most useful tools that I ever got, uh, little attachments uh, under $500 for the tractor uh, at the old farm. And I know they're gonna be uh, just as handy, if not more around here. So check out that website, vivor.com. It is one of my new favorite places to get things. And you're gonna actually be seeing a few more products that I got from them uh, coming up in future videos. They have all kinds of stuff. They've got all kinds of commercial equipment and commercial kitchen uh, stuff and uh, all kinds of outdoor equipment, gardening stuff, uh, just a huge wide range of stuff that uh, you and I uh, like to look at. So 
Let me know what you guys think of the whole system here. Any improvements? Anything you think I could do better? Any uh, cool ideas that you thought of while I was putting this all together? I'd love to hear from you guys. We're constantly trying to improve this process, make it easier and better here uh, to take less time. That's the whole idea. Don't forget to hit thumbs up on today's video. If you are not subscribed to the SSL Family Dad channel, well, hit the button and subscribe. Love to have you tag along for all the DIY and homesteading fun around here. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.